So I've been shooting a lot of VR video lately. Uh, we just completed a project for the band The Cooties. It's an interactive music video. Uh, but we shot with the Google Jump GoPro Odyssey. And Google Jump is great. Uh, they not only give you stereo, top and bottom, equal rectangular video, but they also give you depth maps. Uh, and lately I've been reading about ways to sort of simulate volumetric video using depth maps. There's some really great stuff out there with point clouds that I'd really love to get into. But I just did this little experiment in Unity using parallax mapping and depth maps and the new Unity video player. And I'm using a Bluetooth controller to move the camera around uh, because I don't have a positional tracking system. So we're simulating positional tracking. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. This is from a test we did with the GoPro Odyssey at the Griffith Observatory one day. You can see it's top and bottom stereo. And you can see here's the corresponding top and bottom depth map. And so if we go back to the video, we're going to sort of focus on this one area over here. There's sort of a lot of interesting depth information going on, as you can see. So now let's go into VR. So you can see there's a little um, UI there. It says the 6 DOF amount. That's a 6 degrees of freedom amount. That's the amount that I'm able to move around. Right now to the minimum, I'm actually not moving around at all right now. This is just as you would see in a Gear VR. Um, with no positional information, and I'm just turning the uh, depth multiplier up. So it was at zero, which means there's no depth, it's just a flat sphere with no projection mapping. And now I'm turning it up to five, and then now up to 18. And it's uh, not super, super uh, noticeable what's changing. You can see some stuff around the edges of objects, but because there's no movement positionally, um, there's not a lot going on. So now I'm moving the joystick around. You can see I've turned the depth multiplier down to zero, so this is again just flat, and uh, I'm moving it around a little bit, so you'll see the head sort of m moving around a little bit. Now I'm moving around a lot, still at zero, so this is just what it would be as if you were playing a video sphere on a positionally tracked system like a Vive or a Rift. So now I've turned the depth multiplier up to three, and now still the, m the movement is uh, is minimal, but you can see there's a little bit of of depth information there, especially around the telescope and the people and sort of the, the wall area. I'm now turning the depth multiplier up to eight, which is a little extreme. You're going to probably start to see some artifacting, but still the, the movement is minimal, so it's not too bad. I'm sort of just moving the positioning all around on a joystick on a controller, so... Now we're going up and down in the Y. Now I'm turning the depth multiplier up very high. This is very extreme. You'll see a lot of artifacting, but still not a lot of movement. So if you were in a positionally tracked system, this would be not moving your head around very much but I've upped the depth multiplier to something extreme. So now I've turned the depth multiplier back down to three, but now we have a lot of movement. You can see here I'm moving the Y, and here I'm moving in the X a little bit, and the Z. And now this is extreme. This is, I mean, you can really see it breaking now. But still not a lot of depth, just extreme movement. The bouncing is from my controller script, um, but yeah. So now we have minimum movement, but depth multiplier of five. So that's probably pretty okay. Look, I think it looks pretty good. Um, clearly this is not using point clouds or anything. Um, I would like to get into that, but this is just a little test to see uh, what's going on. So this is a uh, depth multiplier of three and a lot of movement. And I'm moving in the Y there and the X and the Z. Now I'm moving right in the X, just sort of back and forth. So now zero, this is at zero. So this is just a flat sphere again. And now three on the depth multiplier. Same movement. 
zero, one, two, three, four, five. Again, this was running and recording at the same time on a Samsung S7 Edge, and uh, the movement was with a Bluetooth controller. Everything was programmed in Unity, and the footage was shot with a GoPro Odyssey and Stitch with Google Jump.